Welcome to another review by the MXQ Project. Today we have the Yugu's AM3 S912 TV box. My name is Matthew and you're watching another video by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to check out Scott Rec. It's brand new and it's just released for the S805 and S905 processors. Check it out now. So here we have the Yugu's AM3, it's the latest TV box by Yugu's and it's featuring the S912 processor. Now I've got big hopes for this, big expectations mainly because Yugu's produced some pretty decent hardware. Anyway let's dive straight in, let's unbox this and let's see what we get for our money. So here is the AM3, the packaging straight away, really well made. So I think I'm pretty confident in saying it's going to be a decent product. So here is the Yugu's AM3 itself, it's surrounded by a bit of foam, but it's actually all metal body construction, so again, very good quality, and yeah, I've got some very high hopes for this product, and yeah, it's got your USB ports on the side here, got TV card slot, and that little golden bit I'll show you in a second because it's the actual Wi-Fi antenna, bit of a... Uh, more packaging and we've got this USB mail to mail cable really important because I'll show you a little bit later on because we really do need that we've got this well it's a basic remote nothing special there I'd be going out and grabbing yourself a, a mouse maybe a wireless mouse or something like we use a, a TV remote and it's got like a quality keyboard built into it just as you see now we've got the power supply and then finally we've got HDMI cable and here is that Wi-Fi antenna. It's going to improve things a lot when it comes to actual Wi-Fi connectivity etc. This is dual band as, as well so big bonus using this Wi-Fi antenna because it's just going to improve things a hell of a lot over compared to say a cheaper TV box for example. Because we know sometimes the Wi-Fi signal isn't that great sometimes. So this box comes shipped with Android 7.1 Nougat and unfortunately it's not that great, it's not. I'm just going to say that straight away, the operating system really lets this piece of hardware down. Now the reasons behind that is because it's buggy, it crashes, the UI crashes, apps don't perform very well and overall it's just a very stuttery sort of experience if that makes sense like it wants to do it but it just can't because there's something holding it back and I expect that's just because Nougat was never very good from the start however there is Marshmallow available for this TV box and we put it on and wow I've always liked Marshmallow from on Amlogic devices and this has transformed this good piece of hardware into something I can truly say one of my favorite TV boxes I've ever looked at there is a problem with that of course you're going to have to install marshmallow onto this box and it's a relatively straightforward process but they've made it a bit easier by supplying that usb mail to mail cable that i showed you in the unboxing so in this video i'm going to be showing you the comparisons between these two operating systems and showing you just how good marshmallow is and just how bad nougat is anyway let's move on now let's show you these two systems running side by side
So that's it guys, what do you think? Do you think you would buy something like this just to put marshmallow on? I certainly would. I think it's a really good piece of hardware. It's well made, it's solid and it's a decent company that you just know will provide decent future updates etc when it comes to their firmware as well as that you could produce some really nifty systems such as Linux and that. I haven't seen it for the AM3 just yet but I suspect in time they will release stuff like that because they have done for their other devices with Rockchip etc. So I'm really quite excited to see what the future holds for this device. Anyway my name is Matthew and you've been watching another review by the MXQ project. Don't forget guys Scott Alec has just been released it's now available for S805 and S905 and possibly by the time you're watching this review it could be even available for S912. So thanks again guys. Don't forget to check out the website mxqproject.com, Facebook group of course and our Twitter at mxqproject. Finally don't forget to like and subscribe to this video it helps us a hell of a lot and it helps us keep motivated to produce better content and more content for you guys as well as keeping on top of Scott Alec of course. Thanks for watching and we shall see you very soon.